welcome back to stylish ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel i appreciate if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed i would appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button and then also hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video so guys today i'm going to be showing you three basic steps to cut a in shorts a female short pants or a female short knicker so that's what i'm going to show you how to cut today it is really simple and it is easy so that's all just three steps and we're done do you understand so simple uh my online training for those of you that want to register for stylish niger online classes these are private classes so you could see my number scrolling through the screen if you want to register for that class so you could send me a message on whatsapp send me a message on whatsapp the whatsapp um number is for you to send to make inquiries about online classes it's not all these people you'll be sending me link sending me link for what do you understand at times some people the way they do is really not is i don't know what to call it do you understand you come and you'll be sending links to my to my whatsapp this thing i say this class is for you to make inquiries you send links and this class another thing that i want to say about these online classes they are registered classes they are actually not free you have to register for them so those of you that come you say add me you don't just we don't just add you for online classes all online classes that are going on in the whole of this country everywhere they are paid for you understand so it's youtube videos that are free so these ones that i upload on youtube they are free you don't need to pay anything just come and watch free but the online tutorials they are paid for so you have to register so that's that i just want to make these things clear before i continue so the first step the first basic step that we're going to use um, for for this is is folding out your fabric and i'm going to tell you inside the folding out of the fabric the measurement so for this i'm going to be making use of four sorry i'm going to be making use of two yards of fabric the two yards is a little bit big but i'm going to have some uh, um, excess left some fabric is going to be left so the first thing is you fold out your fabric and then the way for you to fold out your fabric you use the biggest part of your measurement to fold out your fabric for instance my hip the hip measurement that i'm going to be using for to cut this short or this sneaker is 40 inches so i'll divide my fabric when you divide 40 into four you have 10 inches i'm going to add about four inches allowance to it so i'll fold my fabric at 14 inches so that's like the first step so i'm just going to do that now and then i'll, I'll show you okay guys so i folded my fabric like i said i folded it at 14 inches this is the front piece and then the back is 17 inches it is three inches bigger than the front piece so but i'm just going to keep the back on the side let's work with the front so that's there and then i have three basic lines here on the on my shorts on my trouser on my pants it's still the same thing it's the same process if it is a trouser it's just the length that you are going to elongate so and then the first line that i'm going to measure you see what i how i'm placing my tape i'm leaving two inches up because these two inches is going to form my band and the band that i'm going to attach to the waist so two inches out the first line that i have here is nine inches which is my hip line measurement is nine inches and then I, my crouch line is 11 inches the crouch line in order for the way for you the easiest way for you to determine your crouch line is for you to just sit on a it's a hard surface that you sit like this and then from once you sit like this from your waist that's where your waist is you just measure take your tape like this as you're sitting like this you just measure like from your waist like this to the down point of your of the chair so what you have that's your crowd that's how you determine your crouch measurement and then the next line that i have here is my full length the full length of the shorts of the knicker which is 22 inches so and then allowance so we are going to start measuring it is really simple and easy the next step again that's the same we are still on the second step which is inserting our measurements you are just going to come to this point like this this is the top part like this that's the waistline we are using this part as the waistline i'm going to measure one inch like this this is one inch like this the essence of this one inch is just because i want to get i want to shape the side of my 
of my shirt. I'm going to come to this point like this, this part, this down part, that's the hemline, that's where the down is. I'll measure two inches. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to just do this. It is really simple. You just mark it to this point and then you bring, you just slant it to this point like this. So you see, it's just like a slant. You see, like when you're making a skirt, just to get that nice curve out. So I've marked it like this. And then the next measurement we are going to start measuring is the waist measurement. The waist that I'm making use of for this um, skirt, sorry, I said skirt, for this trouser is 32 inches. So you divide 32 into 4. When you divide 32, you have 8 inches. When you divide into 4, you have 8 inches. So I'm going to take my tape like this on this part. I'm going to mark my 8 inches here right now. This is for my waistline measurement. If you want to add a dart to it, you include the dart measurement. You just take out the dart from this point. Okay, I'm going to insert that in the front. Or you can decide not to insert that. But most times I make pants, I really don't like that in front. I like it straight. I prefer to add the dart to the back part. So this is my waistline measurement. So from this point like this, I'm going to add allowance. So for the allowance, I could use take as much as 2 inches or 1.5 inches or even 1 inch. So let's let's try a 1.5. You no, know, I always like being I always like excess allowance. It has helped me a lot. Okay, so I've marked my waist measurement and then I added 1.5 inch allowance to it. So just ignore this line. I added 1.5 inch allowance to, to it. So from this point, I'm going to mark out my hip measurement. My hip is 40. When you divide 40 into 4, you have 10. This is 10 inches. You divide your hip measurement into 4. And I want you to note that. So this is my hip line measurement. And then, so this line, I want you to ignore. Let me just ignore it. So from this point like this, from my hip line measurement, I'm going to add... 2 inches allowance to my hip line measurement so from this point like this now I'm going to curve like this so for on the on my crouch line sorry on the crouch line that's where I'm going to mark, mark out the lap measurement that's how wide I want my trouser to be on the lap or my my pants rather I keep saying trouser so for my hip my lap I'm going to use 24 inches so when you divide 24 into 2 you have 12 inches this is 12 inches i don't want it to be fitted this is 12 inches and then i'm going to add 1.5 inch allowance to the crouch part so at the end of the day i just want you to note so i'm just going to use freehand so you see it properly so this is how our trouser is going to be now so our crouch so you see it so i'm going to mark it out properly so you see the crouch this is the crouch for the front front so the next measurement we are going to measure now is the down part of our trouser of our short i keep calling it trouser i don't know why of our knicker so from for the down part you are still going to measure the down part you are going to divide it into two also so for the down part i want the down part of my for of my knicker i don't want it to be too small so i'm going to use 22 so when you divide 22 into two you have 11 so our crouch was actually 24, you divide into 2, which is 12 inches. So I you have 11, so I'm just going to add 1 inch allowance for stitching. Yeah, so from this point, from this crouch point line now, I'm just going to do this like this. So it is almost straight together. So you see, this is just our knicker block. It is really simple. So the next step, which is like our third step for this class is cutting it out so i'm just going to cut out the front now and then we'll use it to cut out the back so this is like just like the three basic step that you need to cut out a shot okay guys. okay so i'm going to place the front piece now on the back to cut out so i'm going to cut out the back now so for the back piece now i'm just going to take the front like this and then i'm going to place it here like this so all you are going to do, you make sure that the back is one inch longer. That's the height of the back piece. It's one inch higher than the front and piece. So the next thing we are going to do now, so I'm just trying to, to 
to place it properly the next thing we are going to do now on the side okay let's work on the crotch side first before we continue so for this side you are just going to take this part that's this part of the down part to open up this part a little bit that's the down part of the side of the back also so you cut it open okay so you see it has the same shape now so i'm still going to i'm still placing it like this the next thing we're going to mark, mark is the crouch part so for the crouch part i'm just going to increase the crouch by two inches so this is two inches for my crouch part and then on the crouch part i'm still going to add one half inch or one inch for the dart because i'm going to take out that from the the waist part of the back piece so all of them is included on this part so from this part like this i'm just going to mark mark to this point you remember this point that i opened already you see i've opened it you're just going to curve it to this point like this so i've curved it now so you see this is the back crouch and then this is the side of the back and then the next thing i'm going to do now you're going to mark where you're going to insert the dart So I'm going to insert the dart on this part. I use five inches. That's from the side of the waist, which is four inches, if you measure from the center. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it out. Before I cut out, if you are going to add a zipper to this to this sneaker, if you want to add a zipper on the side, all you have to do is you add you add an extra allowance on the side for zipper allowance maybe like one inch you can do that or if you want the zipper to be on the center back that's that's the center that's the middle that's the crotch part of the back all you are going to do is that you are going to add another extra one inch like this so this one inch takes care of the allowance so from this point now this top part i'm going to slant my shorts to this part so i want you to see so this is how it's going to be like so you see i've slanted it so you see this part like this so this part i'm going to cut out now and then the side i'll use the same shape to cut out the side okay so you see this is our pants our knicker our short female pants short female knicker so I'm just trying to trim out this part properly. So with this, what I have here now, so I'm putting my dart lines here. I'm just going to pin it out for you to see. So when stitching, you are going to stitch along this line. So if you are going to add the zipper allowance to this, if you are going to insert your zip on this side, you are, all you are going to do, you are just going to hold from that extra allowance parts that we did that one inch extra that's what where you are going to stitch so you see you can see the shape of the, the shirt already so i just want you to see the shape so you understand what i was trying to say so the dart lines i'm just going to hold the dart like this that's for the back dart so you see how beautiful the shirt is looking already so you stitch along that line and then the front piece you do the same thing to it also so this is the front piece now i'm going to open it up so you see how beautiful it is looking let me make sure that my camera is capturing this oh you see how beautiful it is looking so after stitching that part like that you stitch the front and then the back you are just going to open them like this you go, you open it like this this is the right side and then you are going to take this part like this there was somebody that was actually asking me one time she was like a question that she dropped she was like the side i could see that the side is bigger than the that the back side is bigger that they are not aligning that how are you supposed to join it i was i told her, i said you just have to join it so after stitching that side like that the next thing you are going to stitch like most times you are just going to hold this part like this and then you stitch this part 
this down part you stitch it like this together so you stitch this part like this and then when it comes to this part all you have to do don't mind that both of them they are not aligning all you have to do is just pull this pull them together like this when you want to stitch you just pull it together like this and then you stitch on the side you pull them together just make sure they align on the side and then you stitch and then this other side also you pull them together like this also and you do the same thing okay so you see at the end of the day you see your our shot is out the next thing you are going to do you see this part is, is is forming properly so that excess actually comes here so it is okay the next thing you are going to do if you are going to be using elastic for the skirt from the beginning you include the two inches that you are going to use to create your elastic uh, casing for the waistband but if you want to do a, a detachable um band so you could actually cut out your waistband and then you fix on top of you just fix fix it round it and then for the back piece this part that you cut this part that you have you could see the excess of the allowance that is the part that you will fix the zipper but if you don't want to do that you if you don't want to fix the zipper on the back you could decide to fix it on the side so what the only thing that you are going to do on the side measurement just add extra one one inch that's one inch to the front one inch for the back on the side that will create space for you to fix your zipper on the side so thank you so much for watching if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video